What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Owl. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. This is Philips Porsche 981 Boxster Spider, and it is absolutely glorious. I have driven this car I think five times up and down this street, five minutes. Absolutely in love with it already. It is such an enjoyable car. So today I'm going to show you around it. We'll talk a bit about the specs, what makes this car special. And of course, after that, we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now the 981 Spider is basically a GT4 Cayman with the roof cut off, except that it is not. So that is basically what I thought it was, but the GT department didn't really have anything to do with this car. It does have the same engine, so it's got the 3.8 liter flat six from a Carrera S. Shares that engine with the GT4, but it's got 10 horsepower less. But it does not have the GT3 front end, for instance, which the GT4 does have. It is more geared towards a nice mountain road or even daily driving. It is a little bit more supple than a GT4, a little bit less aggressive and less hardcore. And I think it might be better for it. So. Uh, let's take a look at it. I think it is a very handsome car, very pretty. Front end does have like a GT look with this grating in the front bumper. Big air intakes, much more aggressive than a Boxster GTS for instance, with this grating here as well. It looks super aggressive actually from the front, much more so than a Porsche uh, Boxster GTS. It does look similar to a GT4, I think, a Cayman GT4. Now, suspension wise, this car does not have the PASM, so the Porsche Active Suspension Management. Uh, it has passive dampers, but it is 20 millimeters lower in ride height than a GTS, for instance, but you can get this uh, on a GTS as well, uh, optionally. But that means that this Porsche feels like this is the best setup for this car, which I really like. Brake-wise, we've got 340 millimeter brake discs at the front, 330 at the rear. These brakes are also from a 911 Carrera S, 991 generation we're talking about, of course, when we talk about 911. Uh, this is a 2015 car. They only built these Spiders in 2015. And then wheels, these beautiful 20-inch wheels, absolutely love those. Looks stunning with Pirelli P0s. I'm guessing, yeah. So uh, they built around 2,400 of these Boxster Spiders. 900 plus of those went to North America. This is one of those American cars. And uh, you can see that because it has weird mirrors, which I still don't understand. But it was not a limited production run like with the predecessor, the 987. Uh, which they only built 2,000 of those, but still 2,400 is very rare. You don't see them that often. They are still worth quite a bit of money. They haven't really depreciated that much. And well, it is just the ultimate driver's car with the top down, according to Porsche uh, back in the day. So let's move on to the party piece of the car, the roof. Now, with the previous one, as I said, the 987, it was more like an umbrella and not really uh, a roof. So with this one, they improved upon that a lot. I actually think that they carried over this roof to the 718 Spider as well, because it's just exactly the same. So what you do, you pull this switch here, it unlatches up there electronically, it pops open the rear deck lid, which is aluminium to save weight. So are the doors. What you do is you press a button like right somewhere here. This unhooks. Same on this side. And then you can use this little bar with the third brake light to open up the rear deck lid, which gives you access to the rear boot, which is quite large. And then you pull up the roof and you fold it down all the way. Close those flaps and the deck lid. And that's it. So it's pretty quick and look at it. That looks so freaking cool. So you have the double bubble rear deck lid, which is a nod to the 718 Spider from the 60s. 
And I think, I think I said this with the 718 Spider as well. I think this is such a pretty car. It is just the ultimate little driver's roadster because you sit just in front of the rear axle. And I, I really like that rear. I think it's so successful with this little ducktail spoiler as well. Beautiful rear lights, very nice rear diffuser. And then the central exhaust, which is a proper exhaust. It sounds amazing, but you will hear more of that later. Well, I really, really like this car. I think it's so stunning. Now, as I said, they focus on lightweight. Um, now, it doesn't save that much, but it is 30 kilos lighter than a Porsche Boxster GTS. And they did that by using aluminium for the deck lid and the doors. The roof itself saves 11 kilos and you can also go for some lightweight seats. This has the comfortable seats, but you can also have the 918 inspired carbon seats, I think. And as standard, you don't get the infotainment system and the air conditioning that saves 15 kilos, but you can opt to have that put back because, you know, I think almost everyone would want to have that put back because it's a really nice system and you just need AC. When you're driving top down, you know, where it's hot, you need that. Now, engine-wise, of course, I can't really show you anything because it sits underneath uh, where the roof is stowed. But as I said, it is the 3.8 liter flat six from a Carrera S, 375 horsepower, 420 newton meters of torque. Uh, as I said, it's 10 horsepower less than the GT4 Cayman, which has 385. You can only get it with a manual gearbox and it is just, it is such a purist car, you know? It, it has a passive suspension setup. Porsche says, this is the best setup. You have a manual gearbox, it sounds amazing. What else do you need? So, jack it off, and we'll take a look at the interior because this is a really nice interior, I think. It is quite basic, but everything is here. Your gear lever is nice and high, very short shifter. Uh, feels amazing. The seats are really good as well. Seating position is perfect, nice and low. And then we have this steering wheel, which is 360 millimeters. It is a little bit smaller, so it's the same steering wheel you get in a 991 GT3 and in the Cayman GT4 you get this as well. Uh, so it's a little bit smaller and then it is attached to the steering rack from a 911 Turbo. So that rack is a bit quicker. You've got a smaller steering wheel, which means that you have just a little bit more of a direct feel and uh, a quicker turn in, which is very nice. That is a nice touch. I really like that about Porsche that you get all those cool parts from, you know, more expensive or more hardcore cars in your Boxster. Really like that. So let's start it up. Clutch pedal in. And it comes to life with a little bit of a bark. But then if we switch to Sport Plus, the exhaust valves open. We can turn off the traction control. Listen to that. Oh man, oh, that is so lovely. It has these like crackles. Combined with that super tight Boxer 6, flat 6 sound is very, very nice. Now, we're going to drive the B-Road stuff with the roof down because you know, that's just so much nicer. And uh, we'll do a bit of this road to have some fun. Now, we also have a limited slip diff. So you can do nice little slides. And the fact that you have a mid-engined little light car with rear wheel drive, it just means that you have this perfectly balanced car. It is just insane. I mean, it is, what is it? Like a couple of degrees above freezing. So it's like four degrees, I think. And the tires, they, they can't really cope with this temperature and with this wet road surface but it doesn't matter because it's so friendly and totally doable it's, it's just not intimidating because the car does exactly 
what you think it will do. Now I hope the wind noise is not too bad because I don't have a, an external mic today so I hope the sound is okay. But look, just, I mean I know this sound is okay. So it actually gripped in first gear. I was not expecting that. I know that in the 718, the GT4, GT4 RS, Boxster Spider, 718 Spider, you also have the flat six uh, from a Carrera S, but the new generation flat sixes, they don't feel as like pure and analog as this generation does. It, it just, it sounds so old school, which is so nice. So I don't think the horses will be here today because it is freezing. I think they will be inside. Yeah. Oh, oh that is so enjoyable. Now, the Boxer had a really bad rap for a long time. You know, it was the car for people who couldn't afford to buy a 911 and uh, you know 911 was king boxster was boxster was frowned upon it was looked down upon and at a certain point people started realizing that that was just so unjustified and it was really not the case it was probably you know i mean the boxster the cayman are probably the best handling Porsches out there. In essence, it is going to be better because it's mid-engined compared to a rear-engined 911. Now let's do a little launch. I think it's supposed to do like four and a half seconds from zero to 100, but of course, in these conditions, we're not going to be able to do that, but we'll see. That's not bad. That was actually not bad. It grips really well. Now, the gearing is pretty long as well. It's not as bad as in the 718, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, this one feels a bit shorter, but it's still quite long. So, usually second and third gear, you will be able to do most of the driving. Oh, this is such a nice car. And this gear shift is so nice. It's firm, it's tight, it's quick. Is a proper sound. Oh my god, it has so much grip. Okay, so we'll get off here and I'll put up the roof so we can go to the Ottoman. I absolutely love the fact that this is such a manual affair. It, it really fits the nostalgic and old school feel of the car. It, it, I think it's absolutely genius and it is really quick as well. Uh, I mean, you still have to get out, walk around it, but you know, it doesn't take that long. Okay, here we go. The fact that you don't have any like 
there's not really a roof lining or insulation or anything like that so it is going to be much much louder than a regular boxer but that's okay Top speed 288, 290 kilometers an hour, somewhere along those lines. So that's actually not bad. And you can do that with this roof. I think with the predecessor, you could do the top speed with the umbrella roof up, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, full throttle. Just the emotion, I really hate to describe a car like that, but it just is a fact that these cars, these older cars, these older Porsches with these flat sixes, oh man, the driving experience is just unparalleled. Everything you want to be right, want to be great, is amazing. Brake pedal feel, the brakes in general, the shift, the sound, the way it just runs up that rav counter towards its top speed. Such an amazing car here. Oh, just listen to that little engine singing away behind me. Oh, suspension very supple, soaks up all the bumps. Car is perfectly balanced. just talking with Martijn about this we always say that you know Porsches are the best and the, the Porsches feel so good but we never end up buying one and we really like them and oh yes please amazing car <laughs> I, was, I knew it was going to be good but man who knew amazing Philip thank you so much for taking your car to us and allowing us to take it out for a spin absolutely loved driving it it is such an amazing car it, it is such an analog and intense driving experience which is just the best so big thanks uh, thanks to you for watching as well of course if you want to watch another video you can check out this one on the right if you want to watch more videos you can check out this playlist and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the big button so you're always updated when we upload a new video thanks bye